Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Prison Architect. This game has been requested for me to play by a couple different people, so I figured why not let's give her a go. If you have no idea what Prison Architect is, a very very brief summary is that it is a 2D prison management game and I have played a bit of it before. Uh, I don't play very efficiently. Basically, I'm just like, not good at the game, uh, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get good. I'm gonna try to play efficiently. We're gonna go ahead and create a new prison here. We're gonna keep small. We're gonna take fog of war off because that's just straight up annoying. Uh, we're not gonna generate buildings. I think we're gonna do gangs though. I've never done gangs before, and I'm kind of interested to see what happens. I'm not gonna do events or unlimited funds, and we're gonna keep the default warden because the other ones like give you like make the game easier, and I don't want to do that. So we have our new prison here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the planning process, which is something that I don't usually tend to do. So hopefully this will help us out. All right, I think I have finished all the planning that we're gonna do for today. There's definitely some other buildings that I want to add eventually but for today this is all we're going to be adding we're going to go ahead and start adding some foundation and as i do that i will tell you what each building is going to be so let's go ahead and start the time so our workers can start working on this this is going to be our cells for now i'm keeping it down to eight because that's the amount of prisoners that we're going to be getting in but it's going to expand out this way in the future so that way we have like a ton of room to expand this is going to be the little reception area with the little holding cell really Really, those can't overlap. Go ahead and do do that. Will that work? There you go. These are going to be the offices. You need like a ton of offices at some point in this game. I don't know when or how fast you get them, but I just know you need a ton of offices. So I just plopped some down in there. And then this little building here, or kind of large building, is going to be the kitchen and then the cafeteria. And I really, really wanted to put the cafeteria outside. Keep the kitchen on the inside, put the cafeteria outside. But I found out that, or the canteen, not the cafeteria, it has to be inside. That is one of the room requirements. That's so dumb. <laughs> I wish you could put it outside. It's dumb that you can't. Let's go ahead and put some walls down around here, though, just so I don't forget and we end up with escaping prisoners. Oh, and you know what we need to do? We need to add some doors here. Let's speed up the time. So let's add a door. Let's actually just start with jail doors. So we'll put jail door there, jail door there, and then we'll just put a normal door on the side here for now because it doesn't really mat matter what is going to go there. We will put staff doors along here. I think we'll probably just start out with three offices and then as we need them we'll add more walls. We'll put two normal doors here because I know sometimes they get backed up at the cafeteria or the canteen, whatever it's called. And I think we got doors everywhere. All right, our foundation is just about set, so now we need to start adding in our walls. And I really hope, I really, really hope that our dumb builders are smart enough not to get themselves stuck in rooms because that is something that they tend to do, and it's really irritating when they do it. Okay, let's get these walls in and then the cell walls. Next thing we are going to do is we're going to start getting in the power and water because that is kind of important to have. And we have about 15, actually more like 16 hours until our prisoners come. So we kind of need to quicken this up, quicken this up, make this go faster. I don't know what the right word for that would be. So let's go ahead and plop down our water and our power. And I think I'm going to run power down this way. I feel like that would be the most efficient way to do it. We'll run it along here. And then we will run it along to here. And we need to have power right along here to run some of the kitchen things. And we'll see if that's enough to power everything. I have a feeling it might not be enough, but we'll find out. I think I'm going to run one along there. And that should hopefully be enough. Let's go ahead and do it triple speed. And then for the water, I think I'm going to run a pipe along here and then it can split off to whatever the cells need. And then I will run because we need water down here, too. So I think I will run water down this way, maybe. The thing about running the water pipes through the cells is that you have to be careful because they can like dig tunnels through them, I think. So we need to be cautious of that. And uh, didn't I say to put walls along here? Okay, good, they are. And we can actually go and into planning, wherever that might be. And we can delete all this planning stuff now because I think they are working on that. At least I hope they are. Okay, good, they are. <laughs> 
Uh, and then is there anywhere where we need to add doors? We need to add doors for these cells real quick. We run into a bit of dilemma. We have run out of money. Oh no, we only have 50 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and pause for a second. We're gonna go into our grants and we're gonna get ourselves some grants so that way we can have a little bit more money. I think we'll do this one. This one will get us the most amount of money for 20,000. And then once we finish doing all these things on the checklist, then we will get another 10,000. And then I think the next easiest one to do will maybe be this one because we just need to continue adding stuff that we're already going to add and then unlock some things through bureaucracy, which we will get to eventually. And that one will give us 5,000 and then another 5,000 once we get everything done in the checklist. And I feel like I should mention because some of you may have noticed that we are missing one very very important room one room that has to do with hygiene it's very very important to have and that is that we are missing the shower room and what we're gonna do here is if you notice so these are our cells it has a pretty like a decent sized hallway the hallway is pretty wide and what we're gonna be doing is again on the efficiency thing we are going to be adding oh we got power let there be light we are going to be adding the showers in the hallway between the cells. And although that seems kind of messed up, we're being efficient here. Plus, everybody will have their own shower head. It'll be all hunky-dory. We need to get a door over here, though, because they can't seem to be able to put the power, power cabling through there. So we need to go ahead and put a door there so they can get to that. And let's go over here and add some transistors or whatever they're called capacitors I was close <laughs> something to do with electronics so we're gonna go ahead and do that and another thing that we need to do is we need to connect these two to each other because that would be helpful so these the capacitors basically make it so that you can have like more power with one machine thing so now what we need to do is let's go ahead and add this wall here because they didn't do that for some reason we need to add all of our furniture items and we only have two hours and 15 minutes till everybody is getting here so i think the first thing we should do is let's put a door here let's put in the holding cell first which to do rooms we need to click on rooms and go to Oh, found it right there. Holding cell. So we're going to do the holding cell first and we're going to try to get that done. So it just needs a toilet and a bench. The reason that I want to get this done first is if there are no cells, at least we have a holding cell to throw people into. Let's go into objects. We need a toilet and then we need a bench. And they will just kind of chill in here until we can get their cells all figured out, which let's do now. They actually have bunk beds now, which I've never messed around before. But I think I'm just going to play it safe and do this for now. And then eventually we'll try doing stuff with the bunk beds. Because there's also a room for dormitories or dormitories or however you want to pronounce that. Uh, so I'm assuming that maybe you have to use the bunk beds and those and not just like the normal straight-up cells And we have gotten our prisoners in Right prisoners. I think they're coming. I just saw something up here change. Yeah 24 more hours or maybe oh no, they're sitting right here <laughs> They're just chilling out here with with all the different boxes. Okay. We need to get guards like ASAP Let's go ahead and do five guards for now They're gonna take care of them and maybe put them in here yeah okay good job i don't know why this is still here though there are no canteens excess oh by the cell okay so we need to fix that we also need to fix the water to this toilet because uh it's not getting water right now so next up i think so these should actually be finished or just about finished let's continue putting toilets in oh no i did put toilets in okay that's fine let's go ahead and get the canteen finished real quick I have just about everything we need in the canteen and the kitchen done let's just go ahead and plop in these serving tables real quick and now it is done well they still need to bring in the items but it's almost done and i know that we're gonna need to hook some of these up and I think these should automatically hook up. Both of these need power, but I think they should automatically hook up. I'm hoping. And the sink should be somewhere in there-ish. It's right there. So hopefully that's long enough. We also need to get ourselves a warden because that would be helpful. And we need to make him in office real quick, which is somewhere in here. Office. There we go. Let's go ahead and actually just make two offices right off the bat because I think we will eventually need the other one pretty quickly, actually. So let's just go ahead and get two done at the same time. 
and then we also need a filing cabinet and a chair for them to sit in there we go there are two done and i'm kind of tempted to actually go ahead and hire some more workers because it's gonna take them a long time to get all these items in their toilets are installed now so we can go ahead and do this the piping for the toilets is all set up we need to hire some cooks now and going off this list we need to oh we need to get showers and a yard so let's go ahead and do the yard first because that one's really easy to do we just need a yard and i think i'm gonna put it in this area because there's like a nice little rectangle in there so we'll go ahead and do that and then the next thing we need to do is we need to go into objects get the shower heads and i'm gonna put them right here because i think I think that should run into the piping that goes to the toilet anyways so again being more efficient so smart so smart and then we're gonna need drains for these so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line across here because that's really easy to do and then I think once they get those installed oh we need to actually turn it into a shower room that would be helpful there we go shower plop there we go we just got ten thousand more dollars I think but these, oh, we haven't turned these into cells yet. That would be helpful. Okay, there we go. Pop those there and those there. Now we will actually have cells for these guys. Sorry, guys. You could have been in cells for a while now. Oops. Oh, well. So now the next thing that we have to do on our list here is to unlock finance through bureaucracy and also hire an accountant. So we can go up to here and we can obviously get finance through here. I also want to do maintenance because here, once you unlock maintenance, you can also unlock cloning, which is very, very helpful when you're doing a lot of things like cells and you can just like copy a section of the cells and just like paste it somewhere else. So that's very helpful. I think we're also going to go ahead and unlock security and psychology for right now. And what the heck, let's do health as well. So once this one is done, then I think it goes on to this one and etc. So we'll go ahead and just let that run. They take a little while, like it takes like five hours in game, which isn't really too bad. But I think other than that, let's go ahead and get another grant going. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick staff well-being initiative just because that one's kind of easy to do. We just need to build one room. We need to make a staff room and then we have to have five guards, at least five guards that aren't on duty. So they're like taking a break and then uh, we need to ensure that no one on our staff is exhausted, which should be pretty easy to do since we are a pretty small prison right now. Oh God, more prisoners are coming. Oh, do I want to turn that off? We're getting eight more. And we definitely don't have eight cells made yet. I think I'm going to turn that off for one day. And then tomorrow we will take in more prisoners. Just because I want to have a day to like actually make the cells. Let's go ahead and get that staff room in. I think we just unlocked things through bureaucracy. Is this big enough? Yeah, it only needs to be a four by four. So we need a wide sofa and a drinking machine. I think that's what it said. Where be the sofa? Wide sofa. Go ahead and plop that down and then also the soda machine there we go and i think once those are placed that should be all done we unlocked some more through bureaucracy i think no that must just be this that's dinging i don't know what the dings mean okay staff room oh perfect okay that grant went through and then what do we need for this we need to hire an accountant now which needs an office which good thing we made that extra one and now we actually don't have any grants right now so let's go ahead and pick up some more I am going to go with cell block A because that is basically just to have 15 cells, which will be super easy to do. We need to do that anyways. And then I think I am going to go ahead and do the inmate health and well-being because I would like to get the hospital stuff up anyways. And we should be unlocking health somewhat soon. So let's go ahead and make another set of cells. So we should be getting eight more people in in our next round. And this is a perfect example of dumb employees. Oh, these dumb workers. Now it's going to take them a hot second to figure out. Okay, good. It actually didn't take them too long to figure out to actually put a door there. How did this door get there? Is that a real door or is that like they were placing a door somewhere? Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, okay. Really? Is that only there? Okay, that was weird. That was just like a random door there for no reason. So now that we have the doors in, let's go ahead and continue on putting everything else in. 
Let's go ahead and also open up the prisoner intake so we will take in however many they give us. Which is, ooh, 18. I don't want that many. I don't want that many. Just fill the capacity. There we go. Up to eight. Fill to eight. Or no, we don't want to fill to eight because we are already at eight. I think we want this one and we want to boost up to 16 to get another eight. I think that's what we want. And they will come in about 10 hours. So we need to get along with this quickly. All right, so our workers are still working away at these cells. I went ahead and locked the doors open just so guards didn't have to open up the doors every time for them, just to make that a little bit easier. But something that I would really, really like to get installed, let's pause for a second. Something that I wanna get installed before more prisoners come in is I wanna get a metal detector installed. Right here, there we go. So I wanna get at least one of these installed. So that way when prisoners come through, new inmates come in, we can tell if they have any metal contraband on them at least and i'm just gonna put that there just in case to make sure those are all all hooked up and okay good i never checked to see if these got hooked up but it looks like they did we are about to take in more prisoners and here they cometh it appears that we also yeah we must have also finished one of our other grants because we got these cells in i'm gonna go ahead and close these doors now all right all the doors are closed and we oh i forgot about the bathroom or not the bathroom the shower i always forget about the dang shower and we need to get the infirmary in but i think we'll probably wait to do that next episode here's the shower Let's go ahead and pop the shower in. They did take a shower and it appeared that it did do a lot of flooding in the cells, but I don't think that's really much of an issue. That's just like cleaning the floor, right? So let's go ahead and get more objects in, get these shower heads and plop them in along here again. So that way it runs through the toilet piping and I don't really have to worry about doing more piping and just run drains along here. I'm hoping this will help. I might also want to put drains maybe like in front of the doors or maybe under the doors i don't know can you do that i guess we'll find out so we'll see if they can actually put them down there and then the purpose of this big room here is i want this area to be a reception area and then i wanted to eventually make this area into a visitation room so that way i don't have to uh well obviously that is metal metal detector now they're gonna have to search him. That's what the magnifying glass means. Obviously he has metal on him. He's holding a metal drain. Anyways, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to extend this room to like down here for the reception room. Or not the reception room, but the visitation room. But let's go ahead and start setting that up now. So we'll just put a line through here and we'll eventually fix it if it needs to be longer. Where is, oh, okay, it's right here. We'll get the reception room in. I really, really wish, one thing that I really do not like about this game is the way that it organizes everything like this. So you can search down here, I just realized that. But like, it's annoying to have to search for everything every single time you need an item. I wish that they would, oh, I'm like pushing things. I wish that they would just make it like alphabetical is it really that hard to make it alphabetical oh it would be so much nicer i could actually find things so we need a table an office desk and a chair in here so we'll go ahead and do that and i think we'll put bins in because i think yeah i think you can put contraband and things in here so we'll go ahead and put two in there why not and we'll grab ourselves a desk this is actually a really large room for a reception area i'm realizing that but you know what that's all right Go ahead and pop that chair in there. And then what else have we unlocked up here? So we've unlocked all of this stuff. We're gonna go ahead and do, oh, we need to hire a foreman. We can do that. We want to unlock cloning and then we also want to unlock deployment and patrols, I think. I don't really know what the difference. Allows you to define patrols, allows you to permanently stay. Okay, yeah, so we want both of those anyways. So we unlocked all of this stuff and now we need to get a foreman and a security chief, which I think will both require an office. So that is okay. We'll go ahead and get them offices as well. But we'll hire them just for now. So there's one, there's a foreman. Is it gonna say that they require an office now? Yeah. Dang it. Okay, let's get them an office real quick. All right, I quickly threw together two more offices. Um, I didn't realize this until now that uh, there's no way to get a door to this office unless it goes through the staff room because this is a holding cell, 
Whoops, that's okay though. We fixed it. He's just gonna have to go through the staff room, which really isn't that big of a deal. But we do need to throw some power through here because apparently this never got fixed. Like, come on, worker man, you have one job. You can <laughs> put some power line through, geez. Okay, and I can they do that? Yes, they can. So when putting in power line and water lines and things like that, if they have to run it through like this spot right here because there's walls on all sides they won't be able to reach it and i was thinking that there was a wall here but there wasn't there was just power cabling it's really annoying when that happens too because you have to like demolish a wall to put one cable in which is annoying can we get water into this area i think we're gonna be just about done for today i just want to get power to here how are we doing on our grants? So we still need to build that medical ward. Ooh, there's four families waiting for a visit. So next episode, we'll also get in a visitation room. We shouldn't be getting in any more prisoners until we change our intake. And you can see that our buildings are getting real messy. Oh, we don't even have power up here. There's one light bulb in the canteen that doesn't have power. Okay, so we'll need to fix that as well. But I think I want to unlock cleaning for right now because everything else should be done. We've unlocked cloning, which will be great. We'll be able to get cells in much faster now. And deployment is done, and he's working on patrols. I think that's all I want to work on for right now. Maybe micromanagement? I'm not sure. I'll have to look into these, because I don't fully remember what all of these do. But I think that's going to be it for today. We've made a decent amount of progress. Our prison's not the best yet, but it's going to get there, I promise. That's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Prison Architect. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.